So we decided to pop into Disney Springs. And uh, while we was out walking around, we decided, hey, let's go into Jock Lindsay's bar. We ain't ever been there. And uh, so we're, we're waiting on a table. It might be a few minutes, but uh, excited to try out Jock Lindsay's bar. For those of you that don't know, Jock Lindsay is a character from Indiana Jones. He has a very short part, but uh, very memorable. If you, uh, you watch Indiana Jones and uh, the uh, Lost Ark, he shows up as a pilot with his pet snake named Reggie. All right, so they just brought out our drinks. I ordered the Fountain of Youth, which is, what we got here? It's St. Augustine Florida Cane Vodka, Bowles Blue Curacao, white cranberry juice, and sweet and sour. And she got the, what is it? Safari Sangria. Safari Sangria? And what is that? Hold on, I got it right here. The Safari Sangria. That is South African red wine and Vander Rum Tangerine liquor. Do you want me to tell you what it tastes like? Yes, what does it taste like? Vinegar. Vinegar? Can I take a drink of yours, please? All right, go ahead, take a drink of mine. Yours is sweet. I love me some sweet drinks, so. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. I just love the decorations of this bar. I mean, look. It's got all these different props. The, uh, the fan up there is actually a, a prop from a, uh, from an airplane. It's an airplane prop fan. That is a lime, and that is an orange. Fountain of Youth is outstanding. It it's is sweet. It's good. This is a little much, but she, I do like it. She stirred it up. After she stirred it up, it ended up being a lot better. So, cheers. Yeah. I love all these old maps they got hanging on the wall, so. Very cool, very cool. And the more you look around, the more gems that you find. Right here is a photo of what appears to be Harrison Ford and Jock Lindsay himself. Well, should I say Indiana Jones and Jock Lindsay discussing their next plans. Food is here. I ordered Nana's homestyle meatballs. It's uh, handcrafted Italian meatballs, Sunday gravy, basil pesto, scratch made lemon ricotta, grilled focacci, Cristini, grated, I can't pronounce this stuff, I don't know, but it looks good. It's handcrafted meatballs, a little bit of bread with it. Look at that. Alright, so you're going to sample it first, go ahead and cut into that thing. Oh, let's look at the, how thick is that? Look at that. Come on, there it goes. Wow, look at that. Mm. Okay. That's a bomb. She likes it. What do you Can think? I try? <laughs> now it's your turn. Yeah, I gotta try it. flatbread you got? It is a Barrera Point Steak flatbread from Mesco sauce, manchego, arugula, and pe pepper I don't know, but it looks good and I'm going to try it. <laughs> Alright, dig into it. Max too scared. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I know, but I don't. 
the pepper dudes are a little spicy. Really? Okay. Well, I have some spice. Oh. Uh, nuggets. Well, here we go. Looky here. Nuggets for you. Want to grab that? And... And the slider for mine. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. These are called Snake Bite Sliders. Reggie's favorite snack. Gourmet beef sliders with tomato bacon jam, house made pickles, shredded lettuce, and jam. Mm. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Look at that. That's a. Uh, that's a lot thicker than I thought. Not a lot of chicken. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh. I've heard good. You like it? They do have like some chicken nuggets and fries for uh, the little ones that may be a little bit more picky. But uh, how, how's the chicken nuggets? They good? We'll get a thumbs up on the chicken nuggets. As you can see, the food we ordered did not stand a chance. The meatballs were awesome. I think the sliders were probably the best part. I think everybody really enjoyed the slider. The flatbread, flatbread was really good too. <coughs> that was good. So is that what you, you thought it was really good? Yeah, I like them sliders. The sliders. I would come back for the sliders. I would come back for the sliders before I would come back for anything else. The meatballs were awesome, and Matt's flatbread was good, spicy but good, like. But I, I like spice. I mean, it wasn't too spicy for me, but for somebody who would be spice adverse, it was too spicy for me. Uh, yeah. Matt ate it. He must have liked it. Like I said, it's a little spicy, not too bad. Um, Cameron had chicken nuggets. They're your typical Disney chicken nuggets and fries. So we'll see. Yeah, no, it was, it was good. good. Um, the uh, drinks were good. The drinks were really good. We, we, we killed it. Too strong, but good. Nope. No, they ain't too strong, but I'm feeling good. I'm glad I don't have to drive. <laughs> Anybody recognize that? So they have these uh, pass holder magnets that they're giving out at uh, Disney Springs. You have to join a virtual queue, which is what we did, and it looks like uh, we are group 56. Estimated wait time about 15 minutes so we can get our pass holder magnets. And there they are, the pass holder, the new annual pass holder magnets. Look at them, you can actually see, I don't know, hell yeah. Look how shiny that is, that's awesome. What do you think? It's pretty. Yeah, it's really cool. But yep, that's the pass holder magnets that they're giving out here for pass holders. Very nice. That was uh, our quick little visit to Disney Springs, just getting our, our feet wet on day one. So uh, we're gonna, Try to get us some rest and uh, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, alright. I'm going to take camera to swim for a little while. Okay, well. <sighs> Thanks for watching and until next time, stay, stay charming. charming.